The Dearborn Memorial Day Parade is meaningful to so many people, and after 96 years of existence, this parade has become part of this community's DNA, especially for some people who grew up watching the parade, now getting an opportunity to participate in it. He once was just a boy watching this parade. Now he's walking in it as the city's new mayor. Born and raised in the city of Dearborn, there's a street, Chauvin. I used to sit there as a child watching it every single year. As a state rep, I had the opportunity and privilege to participate in this year to, to put it together. But he says that full circle feeling is just something to reflect on because today is about honoring our fallen heroes. Today I'm just Abdullah Hamoud, a son of this community, and just excited to be one. Also walking in the parade for the first time in a new role is Wayne County Sheriff Raphael Washington. This is actually probably my second one doing this, but the first one as a sheriff. And so I'm, also, I'm so honored to have been invited and to uh, walk this parade. But this year also marks a last. See, I'm going to start to cry. This has been my community for a very long time. And it's my last official Dearborn Memorial Day parade. U.S. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell prepares to change districts because of the state's rewritten political maps. She reflects on what this parade means to her and what it meant to her late husband. Since the day I married John Dingell, this was always a very important tradition. He was a World War II veteran. These were his friends, his comrade in arms, and that's what we celebrate today, the men and women that gave their lives so we can be free. And though it may be her last parade representing this district, She'll always have a special place for this event and its people. I love the people at Dearborn. You'll ne nobody can ever take you from my heart and soul. And reflection is what this parade is all about. County Executive Warren Evans says it's important to honor our loved ones who fought and to reflect on how important our friends, family, and neighbors are. An awful lot of people in this country, an awful lot of families here in Detroit and other places that have lost loved ones in the military. Uh, we're seeing all kinds of tragedies around us now that make, make us think more about the value of life. In Dearborn, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4.